All right, Medusa. Precision strike. Um... You know what? I don't even care about salvaging him. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can uh, make short work of him. Waiting on you, Commander. It wasn't quite the structure I was hoping for, but. Takes the light lasers out of the way. Where's his LRMs? Right torso. Can't get his right torso, but. Can get to his left side here. There, let's put the uh, LRMs over to the Agarmech. And everything else into the trebuchet. I copy. He's being quite obnoxious. I hear ya. Right. So you get about glitch to split fire too. Oh, nice. That'll do. Ooh, his center's starting to show weakness. You get a headshot, and you get a headshot. Now, if only that actually triggered when there was actually a headshot. <laughs> Oh, don't come over here. Don't come over here. Don't shoot it, Siori. <laughs> oh, man. Internal structure damage. Oh, now Siori has an arm to gonna need to open up. What do you need? Jumping. Yeah, I really got to keep um, Medusa out of the line of fire here. I was about to lose um, the core, so. Just pretty much how we lost Decker. But hey, if we can manage to core it. Acknowledge. Nope, but hey, arm. Okay. Got past his armor. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, that uh, certainly gives the trebuchet something to think about. <laughs> All right. Waiting for orders. Standing by. Let's get. Let's get over here Jumping. and see if we can take off at least side of the trebuchet. Ooh. 
Sorry, not trebuchet. The uh, Jaeger mech. Yeah, we'll give him a piece of our mind. Hmm. That should uh, open up his arm at least. Good to go. Might be able to push on the um, on this guy a little. Let's see, sixty-two is core. Do that and do that. Splitter that way. We'll see if Glitch uh -huh. Lex out here. I'm hoping that the missile strace will at least uh do something about the Torso. Soften up the torso a bit. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's run over there. Lots and lots of evasion again. Get this guy to stop shooting at us. Ow. These stray shots are getting a little vicious. That's an interesting change from the earlier um, patches. Oh, he's coming in for a hit. Don't do it. Yuri will cut you. Oh. Leave you Yuri alone. Seriously? Mine Sayori around the corner. <laughs> Sensors locked on. Come on, come here, get over here. <laughs> You missed. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Vents <laughs> the rear, yeah. I've actually, uh, I, I had to do that. Decker was actually driving Sayori last time I did this, and, and very similarly had to keep way at the back and actually go hide behind the wall for a little bit. Um. Waiting on you, Commander. Ready for orders. Oh, look at that. Um, you don't like the blackjack? I can't actually blame you for that. <laughs> it was never really one of my favorites either. Can't say as I was terribly thrilled to find out that, that that's the starting mech, right? But... That's why I kind of upgraded it into a uh, pseudo rifleman. Hmm. 
Actually, that might be alright. Alright, trebuchet. Let's see if we can get you to disappear here. Magic! Yep! Enemy mech destroyed. Wrecked them. I hear ya. Impressive. <laughs> The fifth there, Taco. You, you do realize that, you know, if I play this long enough, it could be expensive. So don't do anything silly. Um. All right. Guess the upshot is you don't need to worry about this particular mission. There's not that many left. <laughs> Another hit like that, and you're toast. Waiting for orders. Affirmative. All right, I'll jump over. Yeah, these guys are pretty much cooked now. Hmm. Just because it would be funny. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> the center torso, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> That's a kill. All right. The prison is ours. Thanks for the assist, Lady Reno. I'll have Samir bring us down for the victory ce celebration. <laughs> there will be no celebrating, not after what I saw out there. Gods, Darius, the things the director has done to these people. Hey there, Die Dark Man. Thanks a lot for the bits. <clears throat> Mia, I need you to meet me at the prison hospital right now. Right meow. What is it? Better that you see for yourself and prepare yourself. It's not going to be easy. Dun dun dun. Taco Man, yeah, no problem about sleep. Go ahead. Oh, goodness. It is late. Yes. Um, there's this whole epilogue for this scene that I have to carry on doing, but I'm going to be heading to bed here uh, pretty quick, uh, too. So have a good night. Thanks a lot for coming by and chatting, and thanks for the bits and the follow and everything else. And uh, by all means, hopefully uh, we'll see you again. Cheers. I think I'm gonna no. Okay, Regan director is not gonna like us. That's fine. Next. Damage actually isn't too bad, but yes, here we oh. I guess everybody took a bit of a hit. The Armand Sierra is gonna be a bit of a Thing, but I think I still have an EC5, so that's fine. Four pieces of salvage, and we did not, we were not nice. <laughs> we were not nice to the opposing forces. Yeah. But, whatever. We're going to take all the mech parts because why not? They're worth money. Money, 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 money. 
Oh, good. We got an AC5. Ooh, a couple of large lasers. Excellent. Alarm 10. Okay, I'm not upset about that at all. Alright. You can get out of the way for the cutscenes here. By the time our forces found him, it was too late. I'm sorry, Kamea. He was... here. All this time. Rashu. Mia, I'm so sorry. I know how much Mastiff meant to you. He's a friend and mentor to us both. He was more than that. The old man was like a second father to me, and my uncle condemned him to waste away on this rock. To die wretched and broken in agony. Yep. Hero story shouldn't end like this. Nobody should. Very idealistic, yes. So many have. There's no coming back what I've witnessed today. The scale of the director's cruelty is unimaginable. What they've done here is monstrous. It's inhuman. And Comstar would be very tisk tisky at them about not ignoring the blood jets. Anyway. Our intel was wrong, Alexander. The icebox isn't a prison. It's a meat grinder. Gods, my own family is behind this. And what was left of mine has chosen to look the other way. It isn't an easy thing to wrap your head around, but try to remain focused. You've just liberated the Directorate's hostages. With a single blow, you've shattered the uncle's hold on the founding houses. The prisoners you've set free are already calling you the Sword of Restoration. We need to spread this message to the way, all the way to Cormadir. Galvanize your supporters and weaken Espinosa's popularity there. Um, galvanize supporters, yes. Galvanizing is good. Don't want the supporters to rust out. It won't be an easy process. For the last three years, all those who love House Arano have been keeping their heads down and won't break them of that overnight. In truth, an appreciable percentage of Cormadir's population supports Director Espinosa. In centralizing power, he improved the quality of life on the throne world considerably. People will forgive a great deal for security and comfort. Ain't that the truth? Then, in, with our victory on Weldry, we've seen what happened to those who could not be bought or indoctrinated. Those who refused to kneel before a tyrant. We know what became of the people who were made to disappear. And soon enough, the entire reach will know it too. The momentum is on our side, Camille. We need to take advantage of it. You're right. This isn't the time for hand wringing. But Alexander, you didn't see what I saw out there on the other end of the battlefield. The work crews, all hunched and broken. The graveyards, the great fields of unmarked burial plots that stretched as far as the eye could see. Every time I blink, I see it. And the misery was allowed to fester there. Eh... Take a picture, it'll last longer. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'd be complicit in this? Uh, I don't know. We'll see what she says about it. <laughs> Every director at MechWarrior is, but it isn't their fault, not truly. Before my uncle's coup, the Oregon Reach was better than this. This place is going to stay these people for the rest of their lives. I'd do anything to be able to spare them that hurt, but I can't. Word of advice from an old veteran, Lady Arano. Focus on something you can do. Give us an order, tell us to blow something up. Use your imagination. You do something and you move on. Thank you. You have a good crew. Yes. Yes, I do. I have a new assignment for you and a reward for your service. Yargo appears on your view screen. She's in rough shape, but she, she appears to be spaceworthy. For decades, the wreck side of the Argo was one of my father's most closely held secrets. When I sent you to retrieve her, I meant for her to serve as a symbol. Ugh. Meant for you to. S went, uh, meant for her to serve a symbolic purpose. Wow, I need to go to bed. My words are not working today. <laughs> when I sent you to retrieve her, I meant for her to serve a symbolic purpose. A sign of rebirth and renewal emblazoned with the Arano Cormorant for all to see. I was naive. It's time for action, not symbols. So I decided she would be yours to command. Huzzah. Yargo will serve as your new home and she will fly your mercenary banner. Lord Madeira will join you to act as my liaison. And in return, you will go stronger, sharper, more flexible. You will hone your company to a razor's edge, and I will hold the direct one that I will hold to the director's throat. Um, all right. In that case, you've got yourself a navy. <laughs> In the navy. If that's settled, then please come here. Go back to the triage tent and get your wounds looked at. Conditions here are beyond unsanitary. Hey, it's my dropship you're talking about. And you'll be no use to anyone if you're dying of some exotic infection. Or people contend to the wounded. We need you strong for the fight ahead. Uh, not just yet. Some more people in the cord here. There's something I need to say. Oh yeah, more exposition. Okay. People of the Oregon Reach. I am Kamea Arano, and I have failed you. For three long years, Director Espinosa has imprisoned and starved and murdered our people. And where was I? Hiding in a palace, light years away, building support, planning while the Directorate's secret police turned neighbor against neighbor, made your loved ones disappear, conscripted your children. I wasn't here. I didn't know. The crimes that I have witnessed here today are unforgivable. No doubt, Director Espinosa believes that the ends justify the means, that the Oregon Reach has been made strong. Well, I say that strength built on fear is brittle. The Directorate is a paper tiger. And I declare this restoration today to rally the true strength of our people, our resilience, and our freedom. Let Weldry be a call to arms. Join us, and together we will liberate the Founding Houses and retake Cormadir. Not because it is my birthright, but because the Directorate's crimes against you, the Oregon people, will no longer be tolerated. That is what I fight for, and I vow to fight for your freedoms to my dying breath.
Ev ship will travel. Nice. <laughs> and it's Dr. Faramarad. Hello again, my mercenary friends. Before you officially take possession of the Argo, I wanted to introduce myself in person. We never really got a chance to meet properly on Axelus. Uh, so, hi. <laughs> I'm Dr. Faramarad. Or just fair if you prefer. Nice to meet you all face to face. Yeah, Doc, you too. I'm going to call you Doc. By the way, you should probably go ahead and get used to it. That's pretty impressive work back that you did getting the Argo flying. Between you and me, I had my doubts. Yeah, it's just a matter of everyone living long enough to do it. <laughs> Honestly, I did too. You should have seen what the Argo's interior looked like after a couple of years of hundred years of pirate occupation. Actually, I take it back. If you saw what I saw, you'd never want to set foot inside. Take it from me. The ship has been deloused from bow to stern, and every meter of her has been hosed down with industrial grade disinfected. The ship is clean enough to eat off of, I swear it. <laughs> um, clean is good, spaceworthy is better. <laughs> is she ready for action? I'm not going to whine about lost friends there's a time for that it's not right now uh i mean absolutely she's here isn't she all the way from lyrton with it nary a decompression in sight don't worry commander i wouldn't endanger my crewmates by putting them on an unsafe ship i've got professional standards to maintain hmm Oh, good. We're getting a shipboard engineer. <laughs> That's good because I don't have a clue how anything on this boat works. <laughs> oh, good. Still, I'm a little amazed myself, only because I'm very good at what I do, but it was kind of a touch and go there for a while. I'm sorry about all the shouting bad on Alexis. It's, it turns out getting shot at pir by pirates puts me on edge. No hard feelings? <clears throat> Not at all. Keep this beast flying and you can yell at me as much as you want. Hell, I'm used to it. What are you saying there, Darius? You saying I'm a yeller? Hmm? Hmm? You too, Lord Madera. Never imagined we'd be working together, but I'm glad to have the opportunity. As am I. Oh, yes. Let's... A bit of a circle jerk here. Okay. Over the years of exiles, Lady Orano told me a great deal about you and your company, all of it good. She knew me for like 10 minutes before the coup, like, really. Even before the events of the coup, she knew about Markham's Marauders. Your assistant with her father's uh, Jalder campaign did not go unnoticed. Okay, fair enough. It was a job. We only did what Lord Tamati paid us to do. Still feels good to be appreciated, and you know someone out there remembers Lord or Commander Markham's name. Awesome. Hmm. Yeah. Welcome, addition aboard the Argo. All right. Speaking of which, you'll have some time to break your new break in your new ship before Lady Reno's many move on to Panzer. She needs to consolidate our forces on Weldry. And replace our velocities with fresh volunteers. You remember her orders. You're to sharpen your company and grow strong. And now that you have a mobile command center worthy of the title, I suggest you use it. Get you a batch of fresh contacts to look over. The whole Rimworld periphery is our oyster now. We won't be limited by depths or travel restrictions. Exciting times, I gotta say. Um... Exciting doesn't begin to describe it. I'd rather get in a fist fight with an atlas than get us let us get trapped like that again. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> uh right there with you, boss. Gonna feel damn good to spread our wings. Speaking of which, we shouldn't we go aboard our new ship? That's absolutely enormous mech bay in there, and it's got my name written all over it. Yes, yes it does. Take your stations, everyone. We're free agents until Lady Orano calls for us, and there's money to be made. Cha-ching! 
Yargo's not in good shape, but with time, money, and some chief uh, Vertanen's technical resources, uh, we can address most of the major problems, even make this uh, place nice again. We'll be in engineering if you want to know more. Uh, with these mech facilities, we finally have the resources to do that. Bring me scrap mechs from missions and ships, I'll rebuild them into fighting machines. When it comes to mechs, bigger is usually better. Yeah, usually. All right. <laughs> All right. We have the Argo. All right. I'm going to leave the tour of the Argo until next time. Uh, but at the very least, it gives us a few extra mech bays. Theoretically, we can start uh, flushing out mechs. Get enough of them on board that, um... What man is a man who does not... Oh, silly old bear. <laughs> Thanks for the host. I'm just trying to sign off here tonight. Um, how's it going? Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> I know, I gotta go to sleep too. Um, but yeah, we, we, we just wrapped up the uh, mission where, uh, to get the Argo. So that took, you know, forever. And, uh, <laughs> and so we're, we're going to wrap it for tonight and we're going to, uh, go see who else is out there and then we'll carry this on sometime in the future. And, um, you know, we can actually start doing uh d doing contracts for real i guess <laughs> or so goes the plan we'll gradually get uh the argo fixed up we'll have more mech bays we can fix mechs faster and uh carry more of them which will be good because, you know, then we can go ahead and do additional missions, even though certain Macs are getting, you know, broken from time to time. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for me tonight. Where are we going to go? Gonna see if anyone I know is out and about doing anything tonight. It's not looking like it. The other option is we can see who else is doing stuff on Battletech. Okay, I think I know where we're going. Uh, we'll go find one of the other Battletech streamers. Looks like somebody's doing a speed run to obtain the Argo, so you can uh, watch the whole thing all over again, and uh, hopefully they do it better than I. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, thanks everyone for coming by and uh, spending time. And uh, we will see you all again uh, sometime in the future. Just going to roll credits and we'll uh, pop over to this other uh, stream. So hopefully you hang out, maybe say hi when you get there. And uh, if not, we will see you again uh, next time. Have a good night, though. Peace out.